welcome back to another episode of Smart Ideas. I'm Susan Riley, your host and the founder of educationcloset.com. Today, we are talking all about thinking behaviors. Now, when we're talking about behavior in the classroom, sometimes we're thinking about classroom management and sometimes we're really thinking about what it is that we want our students to be able to model and do and act um, as they're thinking out loud. And so in my research for this, I actually found a great resource from Richard Paul and Linda Elder, Critical Thinking Tools for Taking Charge of Your Learning and Your Life. And this is great if you're um, looking for a new way to introduce thinking behaviors in your classroom. And actually, I got this graphic from a wonderful resource online, which I'll put in the post today, that is all about sharing teacher-to-teacher -teacher professional development resources. So they actually kind of took the work from Linda Elder and Richard Paul and placed it in this wonderful graphic that I'm gonna to reference today in the, in the site. But what I want you to notice is that this is great for classroom teachers and it's great for arts teachers. So having this kind of a poster or a graphic available for your students to be able to reference what kind of thinking behavior are they demonstrating is really helpful. For instance, are they working in clarity? So you have added detail and examples, or are they working more in depth? So you have predicted difficulties or problems with your thinking. You imagine what could go wrong and what you could do about it. So we're identifying as you're thinking through a problem or as you're thinking through a composition in your artwork, where are you stumbling and what box here, what thinking behavior could you use to overcome that struggle? So it's almost like it's a cross between a rubric and a resource for students to kind of use and manipulate to help them get over the hump. So that's why I really like this idea. It's super simple to use. You introduce it into your classroom very quickly. You could even, what I like, you could even cut these out as little cards and pass them around and have your students pass them out and talk about what's a problem that I've had that this would have helped. Or here's something that I noticed somebody else struggled with. This would have been a great tool to use so that they become familiar with the behaviors and then you just post them so that they can reference them throughout the rest of their classroom experience with you. So if you liked this idea, I highly encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash education closet, where you will get every new smart idea as soon as it is released. And I also encourage you to tune in every Tuesday when you will find a new smart idea posted up on the Ed Closet website. Until next week, I look forward to seeing the creativity that will shine in your classroom.